Welcome. I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in Los Angeles, and today we are going to make a rum chocolate sauce. Let's get started. We will need three quarters of a cup of half and half, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of butter, five ounces of chocolate chips, these are semi-sweet chocolate chips, and two tablespoons of rum. You could use a very expensive rum if you so choose. Different colors are gonna wind up giving you different flavors. To begin with our sauce, we're going to take our half and half and start to warm it up in a pan over a, a medium high heat. Going to add in our butter and our sugar. And we're gonna let this melt. And we're even gonna bring it up to a boil. One of the things you'll notice here is that the milk, or the half and half in this case, is gonna to start to boil around the rim of the pan. I'm gonna stir in this butter and get it to melt. The sugar is gonna melt at the same time. Once I start to get a nice bubbling going into this pan, I will go ahead and add in the chocolate and basically stir the chocolate around until it gets melted. Really important that uh, as the sugar is melting, it's gonna have a tendency to wanna to settle to the bottom of the pan. It's not a bad idea to get your spatula and go along all over the bottom of the pan and even up on the sides. If you're noticing that, for example, here I'm getting a little bit of caramelizing, some butter actually got up to the side of the pan and it's starting to turn golden brown, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the heat a little bit and let this start to bubble. And I'm actually gonna cook it at a low boil for a couple of minutes. And what I'm looking for is a little bit of bubbling. I can actually feel with my spatula that the sugar is melted, so I don't feel any kind of granular quality against the bottom of the pan. So I can actually stop stirring. The more you stir, the more you're actually gonna cool off the sauce because you wind up disturbing the surface tension and you wind up cooling it off. So you're gonna leave that alone. And you can see very shortly, we start to bubble along here. And bubbles are gonna to start to come around the edges and then it's gonna to start to bubble up on the center of the pan too. I'm gonna to let this cook for just a couple of, uh, for about a minute or so. Spatula is uh, very important. You wanna utilize one that can really take a, a high heat this is a silicone spatula that can withstand 450 degrees. A standard rubber spatula, or if you have a spatula at home that's made out of a hard plastic, you might find that it'll actually start to melt when you wind up getting along the edges of the pan right along here. So that's not going to be ideal. You could use a wooden spoon as well, but the spatula is really great to really cover the entire bottom of the pan and along the side of the pan. So after two to three minutes have elapsed, add in our chips. Stir that in and let the hot liquid in here melt this chocolate. You could utilize a, a bar form. Really important that you wind up taking the uh, bar and break it up into chunks and then take those chunks and chop them up into really small pieces with your knife. If you wind up utilizing really big chunks inside the pan, they're not gonna melt rapidly enough and you wanna make sure that they get really nice and melted and you also wanna make them, you wanna have them melt quickly so that's why chips come in really handy, because they have a smaller size. If it turns out that the liquid is cooling off too rapidly and the chocolate isn't melted completely, and the way to tell that is it should be absolutely smooth. Should have no lumps of chocolate in here at all. Then I can always put it back onto a low heat if I need to, just to gently reheat this. But I think we're gonna be just fine. I'm gonna stir it together. And it's gonna take just a little bit of stirring to get the half and half to blend up with the chocolate. And see when it does that, it's gonna have a really smooth appearance to it. And once I get that nice smooth look, our chocolate sauce will be finished. And while it's still warm, we go ahead and pour in our rum. Stir it around and blend it really well. This sauce, as it uh, cools off and becomes refrigerated, will actually thicken up a little, but just slightly. It'll still be uh, very uh, scoopable, it'll still be pourable. Um, it'll actually be very dippable. Uh, a great thing to utilize uh, this sauce for when it's slightly chilled is to uh, dip uh, fresh fruits in, like uh, bananas or uh, pears or apples, and make a really nice kind of like a uh, room temperature chocolate dip, if you will. Go ahead and take a nice big spoonful, one end to the plate, the other end, use the back of the spoon and go ahead and make that nice little paint. I can take this cupcake to serve along with it, and maybe cut the cupcake in half like this. Set the bottom of the cake on one side, maybe set the top just a little bit in a jar, and then I can come on back with a little bit more chocolate sauce right on top like that. A little bit across 
interesting. And that is our rum chocolate sauce. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on other links so you can get other recipes. If you don't see something that interests you, email a request to requests at mahalo.com. Also be sure to subscribe so you can get lots of wonderful additional information. Thanks and I'll see you soon.